When will we discover the last barn find? Because they just keep appearing from nowhere. Yeah. <laughs>well hello and welcome to euro prestige imports in charlotte and for reasons which i cannot explain i've been allowed to take control of this week's podcast and i'm delighted to introduce my guests here paul and spencer from haggerty insurance guys thank you very much for coming down and joining me today thank you steve it's a pleasure to be here now not only is it fun for you guys to be here, I'm sure, to look around at all these cars, and I love coming down here all the while too, but you have a much closer connection to uh, Euro Prestige than I do because you guys insure the collection, is that right? Yes, exactly. It's uh, part of one of the portfolios under Haggerty's banner that we're able to insure amazing collections and dealerships like this. From a, a commercial perspective, we also do restoration shops as well. How did that relationship come about you've known Cyrus for a long while I'm sure but did Cyrus just suddenly say hey we need to get this place insured there's only one place going to go to and that's going to be Haggerty I better give Paul a call no actually it didn't work like that it was a long courtship of at least a year and a half okay <laughs> but uh, no it's it's been a great communication and just knowing Cyrus and working together and just kind of understanding what his needs were and just help guiding him along the yeah. way one thing I'm always fascinated with with insurance companies and insurance guys like you two is a lot of people always look at insurance and think no oh, you know it's 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 not the sexy side of a car collection it only becomes important when you're needed yep. right yeah so how did your relationship with Haggerty come about and how have you seen that relationship grow with your customers great question you know I think we're kind of in the relationship business where we work with clients that have these really great passion assets that they really care about yeah. and you know each one of them usually comes with a really fun story so my my involvement with Haggerty became from a love of cars and a love to hear those stories and then you know secondary is how can we take care of those cars and provide some really good solutions for it but you know it's 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 great clients to work with because I mean they they're they're passionate about their cars and they really love you know, to get out and to do events like Paul and I get to do and to get to talk cars and just, you know, share the love for them. Well, tell me a little bit about, how did you get involved with Agatha? Because you're a car guy through and through too. I'm a car guy. I, I, I did a little uh, scientific uh, exploration and my DNA actually has, instead of a double helix, it's got a chicane in there. Um, <laughs> my dad and uncle were huge car guys back in the 60s. Yeah. Um, my connection with Haggerty, actually it's the first policy I ever wrote for Haggerty. My dad passed away. Uh, about a year ago and it was with the agency I was working with or do work with I saw the Haggerty magazine and I was like hey I want to I want to do this I want to take this on and that's going to be my focus and it's it's worked well what are your biggest events throughout the year so it'll be on uh, March the 3rd through the 6th okay we'll start off with a really fun uh, rally for a select few that want to join it's called the Amelia bus rally which starts up in Virginia and it'll hit some really fun spots going through North Carolina down to Georgia down to Amelia and then we'll start off down there with a, a really fun Porsche driving experience that's open to the public. Um, Saturday we've got a cars and community event which will be a really family fun event to yeah. get a lot of you know families out to enjoy cars and then it, it turns into the uh, Concours event on uh, Sunday but the island really turns in from you know from a, a local spot to about 26,000 car enthusiasts that head down there wow. to enjoy some of the you know the nicest cars in the world. So this is the first year that Haggerty will have named sponsorship for the event. Am I right in thinking that? No, this is the first year that Haggerty actually owns the event. Owns the event. Yep. So we purchased the event, and it, wow. the, the new name of the event will be the Amelia. So we'll have a new new name, new logo, yeah. uh, new events and stuff that'll be there, but hopefully a lot of the same fun and excitement that it normally brings. What I've seen through this awful pandemic that we're hopefully getting towards the end of it, I think it's made a lot of folks realize you're never guaranteed the next day, right? You, I mean, it, it, it's, it's an obvious thing to say because it's how life always unfolds around us, but I think this has really focused a lot of people's attention to say, why have I got this money tied up in stocks and bonds or why don't I just go out and buy what I really want to enjoy get out there put it on the road go to a concourse have fun with it have you seen a lot of that as well a lot more interest on these spiking collections oh most definitely I mean yeah. it, I think the the fancy word we use is it's really an experience I don't even call clients clients anymore they're board of directors and so we find and we seek out great partnerships like with Cyrus to come here and do events whether it's a Formula One watch party, and it's just 
the community of pulling people together and the smiles. We, we see, you know, people, we ask them, you know, tell me about your car. They'll pull out their phone or they'll pull out pictures and they just start, and they just start grinning. And yeah. to me, that's, that's the most beautiful thing we do. Have you guys ever come across anything you think, we've just never seen this car before. We're struggling to get an evaluation on it. We've never come across it. Are you guys covered for everything? I think I have the unique uh, tagline of, I don't seem to find easy things, yeah. which is good. I mean, there's, there, and that's the beautiful thing about it. You've never been phased by anything. It's uh, just smile and say, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And uh, we usually do. Yeah, and I think, Steve, one of the myths out there is that Haggerty only insures like older antique cars. Right. And, you know, we can do the, the, the brand new exotic vehicle all the way to the very rare old classic. Yeah. So even though, you know, it may be a newer car, you know, that may have limited production and it be some be something really rare that you typically wouldn't see. Or it could be that barn find that's that's been hiding out there that that's that's that gem that you just never know you'd, it'd come back up and resurface itself. When will we discover the last barn find? Because they just keep appearing from nowhere. Right? Yeah. yeah, we we have you know we have the luxury of having Tom Cotter here locally here, and he does a great show with those barn finds. And I mean, he's even found unique Ferraris here in Charlotte before. So isn't it you, remarkable? You, you really never know where they're going to pop up. Yeah, that is a really cool aspect of Haggerty is the Haggerty Foundation. Okay, and cars that are uniquely historical, the foundation will, will find the car, say a DeLorean maybe. Right. They will come document the car, yeah. photo it look at all the mechanical drawings, everything else, and archive that data in a PhD level uh, presentation okay. that's archived in the Library of Congress. The cars, you know, are documented for historical preservation for future generations to understand, enjoy from a reading perspective. Yeah. But I just, there's so many little nuggets of what Haggerty does beyond. That information is stored in the Library of Congress? Yes. Wow. That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we, we recognize that there may not be a, there was nothing out there documenting these really special cars, yeah. and it created an opportunity up for us to to make sure that 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 stayed for generations to come. So, isn't that remarkable? Yeah. Oh, guys, thank you very much, Paul Spencer. As ever, it's great fun to chat. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you for coming ours. down. Yeah. And um, you guys and gals at home, I hope you enjoyed that. Comment and, and tell us what you think about it. If you, if you would like to talk about anything else down here at Euro Prestige Imports, let us know. We'll probably take over this table again. Take care.